Hi everyone and welcome back to part 3 of this Robin tutorial in coloured pencils. Thank you for your patience with waiting for part 3. I didn't upload one last week because I was setting up for my first ever craft fair. Um, I filmed a vlog for that so that is up if you want to watch it. But yeah, I was just so like conscious of getting everything ready for that that I thought I'll have to film next week instead. So thank you for waiting and we'll just carry on and if I can I'll upload an extra one next week and then I'm not behind if that makes sense. So yeah, let's just carry on with this Robin now. Everything that you need to know is listed down below as always and let's just carry on. I think this Robin could... Ooh, nearly knocked my pencil sharpener over. I think this Robin could do with a bit more definition before we go any further. So I'm going to use Burnt Umber and I just want to start adding a little bit more of like a crisp line in those feathers. I just think it's looking a bit flat, a bit lacking in detail and I like my uh, drawings to look a bit more, a bit more defined but obviously that's just my personal preference. If you like that sort of soft look then keep it looking soft but I'm just going to use this pencil to start adding a bit more definition. So I'm just doing some little lines coming up. So sort of like creating that feather look. Concentrating them to the top of this wing. You don't need to do too much to add detail but it's just the odd like more defined line here and there is all you need to make it look that extra bit more detailed like here this bit I just want to define that a bit more it makes such a difference so I'm just gonna add some lines here and there and like here there are a few more darker lines that I just want to Add in. I'm not going to go too far, I don't want it to be like super crazy but it's gonna sort of like blend it up a bit into that softer area add a few just around here I just think because this is like a slightly bigger piece that you could fit a bit more detail and I just wanted to add a little bit more and the thing is you can start off a bit more loose and not putting too much pressure or detail in and add to that but you can't take it away so I always say it's better to start with less and work up to a bit more I'm just gonna add a little bit more there too just needed an extra bit of something Let's add a few lines. Just going down that way. And I'm gonna add a few in here just so it sort of like all works together. And I'm making sure as always just to look what direction these little lines go in. They're not all straight, they're not all in the same direction. There we go, I think that's looking better. It just needed an, an extra little bit of work on top. And I'm going to add a tiny bit more nougat. 
just here. I think it could do with just that sort of middle tone just to bring it together a little bit. Soften it all up. I hope that you've all had a lovely week. I think it'll probably be Saturday when I upload this, so... Yes, and I hope you have a really good weekend. Not far off Christmas now. And I've not done any Christmas shopping. Ah, gosh, I need to get on that. That is not good. I'm just going to bring this nougat down a tiny bit. Right, I think we can move on to that really complicated wing now. I feel like I'm just <laughs> doing extra stuff to put that little bit off. So now we need to just get on with it, don't we really? So let's see. I've managed to get smudged pencil all over this section, so I just want to clean it up a bit before I do anything else. But I'm going to leave the lines showing through a bit because I need them. <laughs> I definitely need them. Right, it's quite purpley in this section, so I think I'm going to use a violet. And I'm just going to start with the... So there's a feather there. And there's a feather there. And I'm just going to start with those two because I don't want to confuse myself. So I'm really likely just going to add that violet because obviously it's a dark colour. I don't want to go too far with it. Just lightly sort of grazing that over. And then I'm using the Museum Aquarelle White to blend it in and make it a creamy, like, pale purple colour. So using that Museum Aquarelle White like we did with the rest of it and I'm just smoothing it in, burnishing it I think. <laughs> I don't think you'll follow me for very technical terms because I'm not, <laughs> not good with that kind of stuff. I very much just say it how it is usually. <laughs> That's creating a nice like purple base now to add these feathers in with. And I'm not going to go any further than that because like I say I'll just get confused. Which means you'll probably get confused too. <laughs> so this first feather here, I want to add that in first. So I'm using nougat and it's really short and I'm just sort of like where that brown edge is. Sort of just going to start drawing that in. like that. And I'm going to start blending that nougat onto that feather a little bit more. And then there's like a, a line here that I'm just going to add in. It's hard to tell what colour it is but I'm just going to use nougat because I think that will work. And then I'm just going to sort of blend that colour together a bit. Really lightly, just going over it till it looks nice and blended. And I think I need a bit more purple in there, so I'm going to use the violet again. And just go over it a bit. Mostly over this right hand side, leaving that lighter part. And I'm going to use the Museum Aquarelle White again. Just blend it in. like that. Um, a bit more nougat. I think it's just going to be a case of keep building these colours up on top of one another till it looks right. That's looking better now. And then here, I just want to correct the shape a little bit because I feel like these feathers come down like that a bit more. And then out like that. 
and then can you see that's created like a nice crisp lighter line there which is a bit more like in the reference and I'm just going to make it a bit more purple with the violet a little tiny bit of purple very subtle and that is looking pretty good do I add a bit of burnt umber for a bit of detail let's try it let's just do some more lines sort of like coming down just for the tiniest bit of detail probably not even necessary but I like to go that extra mile with the detail so I'm going to do the same thing again with the second feather and I'm going to start using nougat to just map that feather in It comes to about there, like that. And let's see, there's like a another line here that I'm just gonna add in there, like that. And I'm gonna start doing some little strokes, sort of coming down off to the edge of this feather, the bottom edge. You can even blend them up instead if you want. Sort of just doing the same sort of thing we did with this one but on a larger scale. Just want this nougat to be nice and concentrated to this edge of the feather. And we're going to use the white to blend it all after, so don't like worry too much if you make a mistake. Um, and I'm going to blend it up here a little bit. Like that. And again, I just want to correct the shape of this feather because I feel like it needs to go a bit more like that. So I'm going to just fill that little white gap there that it's created. Just make sure it's all nice and blended right there. And I'm just going to use the burnt umber just for a little bit more of a crisp edge. Like that. Blend it up a bit. There we go. Right. And like we did with the other feather, want a bit more purple in there. So I'm going to add some of the violet into this lighter left hand side. But in the middle there's definitely a lighter, tiny, tiny little light line that I don't want to go over. So I'm going to concentrate it to the edge and just leave a bit of a line. And I'm going to use the Museum Aquarelle White just to sort of go over that line in the middle. Make it a bit more obvious. Might need to go back in with the purple. And just blend that edge a bit more. And I'm going to use that purple over this right hand side of the feather. These colours are not the easiest to blend, so don't like panic if they look a bit weird. That's why we use the white to blend it out. Which I'll do now. Blend that all together. And again, you might have to go back over it with the nougat. left side a bit more to tone it down a bit. It's better. I'm just going to blend it until I'm happy with how smooth it looks. There we go. And I'm going to add some more nougat back in. 
because we've lost a bit of that definition. So kind of like more of like a prominent line to about there. So I'm going to colour underneath that. And then so I've finished defining the edge of that feather a bit more. And I'm going to draw another line just to the right of that white line there. And then I'm going to do one just to the left a little bit. So, sort of like, you know like when you're drawing whiskers and you draw around it? Sort of doing that but with this white line here. Like that. And I'm just going to add a bit more nougat to this top one while I'm looking at it. There we go. Right, that'll do for now. Uh, do I add a bit of burnt umber again? Yeah, I'm going to add some burnt umber just to further define that feather a little bit more. Not pressing on hard at all with that really. Okie dokie, let's see. Let's move on to this next one. Again, let's not go too far because it's just going to confuse me and you. I like to take the feathers one at a time and sometimes, I'll be honest, sometimes I miss one. Like there's loads of different little feathers and I don't always draw all of them because I don't know, I must get the proportions a bit off and I don't draw them all so if that happens to you don't worry. Nobody's counting. So I'm just going to use violet again and I'm just going to bring it to where this next feather stops. and glazing over just to get an even layer and then again blend out with the white This is where the colours start to change a bit soon. There's like a an orangey, yellowy sort of colour in there. But we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it, so don't worry just yet. There we go. That's nice and blended in. So, same again. I'm going to use the nougat to like define the edges that I can see have a lot of brown on. And it's very brown. Sort of like here. Oh, oh. Amazon delivery. Um, where was I? Right. So, I'm gonna add anywhere that I can see the brown lines. So I'm just gonna bring it all the way down there, like that. You sort of like drawing the shadows between the wings. The feathers, sorry. And there's a little white line again here. And I'm going to add some nougat over this whole bit of the feather, I think. So I do a bit of shading. like that and then I'm going to add some oh, her underneath that other feather for a bit of a shadow so I've added it to quite a bit of this and then I'm going to leave that white line there and come round both sides of it and then I'm going to blend that out with the uh, the white bottom of that feather there because it is a bit lighter at the bottom and 
sort of miss that. Carry on blending. And a bit here. And I'm going to use dark sepia because I really want to like make it obvious where this feather ends because there is like a dark shadow underneath it so I'm going to use that just under there so it's a nice crisp dark line and I'm just going to do a few tiny little lines to blend it up into that feather there we go if I do a tiny little line under there. just want it to stand out that little bit more and I might even do a bit of dark sepia sort of on the top of them just to define exactly where these feathers begin and I'll do a few lines going up into these feathers like that and now that it's a bit more clearly defined I think before I go too much further with these feathers here I'm just going to add this bit of colour down here just so that I can see where the edge of this feather is going to be. So I'm going to use a nougat and I'm just going to add a line just to define the edge of this wing like that. Then I'm going to do the usual and use the, um, the violet and just start adding that colour as a base. And then blend it in with the white. I just wanted to create a bit of like a a guideline before I went too much further because when you're looking at it and it's all just white, it can get a bit confusing. So this just adds a bit of negative space and allows me to see exactly what I'm doing. There we go. And then I'm going to start blending some of that nougat through. And start creating that feather detail. Following the direction these feathers are going in. It's like a little line there. And then they start sort of coming down in this direction. And then they're a bit more like straight in that direction there. And then they go, there's like a line there in the middle. And then they start going down this way again. Gonna blend it all together. There we go. Just makes it make a bit more sense to me. And I'm gonna use some burnt umber just for an extra bit of definition, just to that edge of the wing. making a weird noise. Really? So use the burnt umber and I'm, I'm not really doing it as detailed as the picture with all the different like 
shapes of the feathers, I'm simplifying it a little bit. Like that. And then I'm going to add some of the burnt umber just over these feathers a little bit. Definitely needs to be a bit darker here. And this way. And then definitely where we added this line down the middle. A bit more of a dark colour coming off of that. Just going to blend it all together a bit more like that. There we go. Could do with warming it up a tiny bit. So I'm going to use some burnt ochre. Just a little bit. Just glazing it over just to warm it up slightly. Right, okay, let's carry on with these feathers. So I'm going to use some burnt umber and just define the edge of this one a little bit. To about there. I'm not going too far with that. And then, where else? I'm going to add a bit more nougat. To this right hand side of this little feather just blending it in side of this light line. Just gradually build it up so it's nice and smooth. A tiny bit more, I think, even this one. There we go. And I'm going to blend a bit more into this lighter part. more here. It's not till you start doing a few that you know how dark you need to go with it. Just going to blend it in a tiny bit. It's so hard to blend these colours together. Just going to use that white. Just touching it slightly. Just enough to blend it. Like that. Right, let's move on to the next feather now and then I'll probably go over at the end and like add a bit more detail to the whole thing but for now I'm just going to start on the next one and let's see so this next one sort of like comes down here and then it goes up and then it sort of like becomes a bit unclear which feathers which as you get further down here so I'm going to do the bit that I can see I'm going to use burnt umber and just add a line to about there just to define the end of that feather. Just going to get rid of any mess. And again, violet as a base, concentrating it over this little bit that we've drawn in and then as we get further down it's like got a bit more of like a orangey colour so I'll add the violet for now but I'll probably blend another colour on top of it after so use the white to blend it all in Like 
that. The only colour that I can think of that will look right is a luminance colour. I think I'm going to have to use it because I don't know what other colour in the polychromos would work. It wouldn't get that nice creamy sort of like yellowy orangey tone. So I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm going to have to use that. Um, but I do recommend getting that pencil anyway. It's the Brown Orca. Brown Orca? Yeah, Brown Orca from the Luminance range. If you're going to get any Luminance pencil, get this one because there's nothing like this in the Polychromos, unfortunately. Also, I've just realised that my Luminance pencils don't fit into my pencil extenders very well, so I definitely need to get some bigger ones. But anyway, um, and I'm going to blend a bit of this Brown Orca into this top part this feather. It's just the perfect colour. I've not found any other colour in the polychromos that you could sort of get the same look with so I'm just gonna have to use what is right for the tutorial. There we go. And then I'm gonna start using nougat and the feathers are sort of like some lines coming down this way. So I'm just going to add them in all the way down that feather, pressing on reasonably hard because you want it to show up. Like that. And then, so let's see, is that feather there, that one there? Right, I'm going to use some dark sepia because I need to define the edge of this feather a bit more. Just adding that in. Again, I'm only bringing that to about there. I don't want to go too far. A bit of dark sepia underneath this one as well, a bit more. I just want it to be a bit more obvious. I just want to blend that purple out a tiny bit with the white. This is like the hardest thing to draw, little feathers like this, so bear with me. Right, let's add a bit more violet on top of this wing. And I want to get that line in the middle again. So I'm going to use nougat as well. So I'll go over that violet and leave that little line in the middle. And blend that in a bit more with the white. This is not going to look exactly like the picture at all, but it's going to look like feathers and that is the main thing. Right, now let's see. I'm going to add the next feather. So I'm going to use nougat. And this is where it starts to get confusing because you can't really see what's what. So I'm just going to add one in. I'll go for it like that. And I'm going to start blending in that brown orchid because it gets a lot more sort of like creamy orange here. I'm going to blend that down this feather about there and then I'm going to blend the purple over the rest of it. I don't know if you'll notice but there is like a really light sort of white 
line around the bottom of these feathers and I'm not going to worry too much about that because it's fiddly enough as it is. I might add it back in at the end if it's possible but if not it doesn't matter. I'm just blending the white over that. And then I'm going to add some more nougat. I've like blend it all in and then I'm going to blend it out again with the white like that right and then before I go any further I think I need to define the edge of this wing a bit more so I can see where it ends I'm just going to get rid of all the smudged bit and I'm going to draw a line with the nougat so it sort of like comes down here like that and then there's like a line there there we go that is just enough to like make it make more sense to me. I'm gonna tidy up that line that's overlapping it a bit there. There we go. And I'm just gonna make these lines a bit stronger. I'm just blending a bit more nougat up there. And I'm going to add a bit more dark sepia. Just where I've lost that definition a bit there. And I'm going to start blending that dark sepia down because this is a slightly darker feather. And I think I need a bit more nougat on these little feathers here. I'm just going to press on a little bit harder. starting to come together a little bit now. Um, I might just map in where these little feathers are here. So there's some feathers here. These could be a bit longer I think. Just so I can see where they are. And then here, I'm going to bring a line down. And like I said before, I don't always manage to get every feather in, and I definitely won't do in this one either, I don't think. So I'm just going to draw in what I can, what I can fit into this little space. I'm 
like that. Probably got half the amount of feathers that I need but it really doesn't make a difference so don't worry. And then I'm going to use the brown ochre and just bring that down the upper part of these feathers. Just like that. And then I'm going to bring the violet over this lower, lower part and then blend with the white. I'll lighten that one up a little bit. There's just so much like blending out of these colours involved in this part. And where I've lost any of that definition with the nougat, I'm just going to add it back in. Just like we're bringing those feathers up. So that they're nice and clear. And like I said, this is not going to look exactly like the picture. And then I'm going to start bringing a bit more of that light feather texture down in this diagonal, just over this top part. Just so it looks like there's that like nice feather texture. I'm just pretty much overlapping all of it, just going over the whole thing. Just like that. And let's see, have I missed anything? I'm gonna add some dark sepia just to define these little bits a tiny bit more. So concentrating it at the bottom of these feathers. And I'm going to use some burnt umber, I think, oh, that's nougat. I think we could do with darkening up these lines just the tiniest bit. So it sort of like blends from that dark sepia into the rest of it. Like that. And a bit more up here, I think. I really want to just darken up this feather. And this little one. Like that. Um, and I'm going to add a bit more to that feather there. And I think I just want to finish off this little area a bit more. So I'm going to add some violet. It's a bit purpley. Just through this top part of the wing. Sort of like blend it through a little bit over this part here. Like that. I think I could do with a bit more on these bits too. Like 
like that. Um, definitely a bit more over this lighter feather that I could do with darting in a bit. And I'm just going to use that dark sepia again. And it's looking a bit like a bit light that feather. So I'm going to blend it down a bit more. Maybe even a bit of burnt umber. Just add a bit more of like a warmer brown tone. That's better. And I'm going to blend it down underneath that feather too. Just trying to create like little shadows. So just like blending it from underneath that other feather. Blending it down. And then do a little bit on the other side of that lighter line. Like that. I hope that all makes sense. It's so hard to explain. But anyway, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to define this feather a bit more too. Just while I'm looking at it. And then I'm going to use the white here where we've just added a bit of this violet. I just want to blend blend that in a bit so it's a bit smoother with the white. And I'm going to start using the burnt umber to add a bit more feather detail. And I'm just going to do some little lines, just sort of like overlapping this whole section. So it all kind of like blends together nicely. Like that. Do you know what? I'm going to use a bit of that brown ochre here just to make it a bit creamier. Like that. Probably should have just used that in the first place, but I just didn't want to use too many different brands. A little bit there. There we go. Adds a nice tone in there. And now let's do these little feathers here. So I'm going to use the violet and just put that over these feathers because they're quite purpley. And then use the white to blend them out, as always. Sort of like blend it all together. And I'm going to use the nougat and just start sort of drawing in where these feathers are. So there's one that comes all the way down here, sort of just following on from that bit there. And again, I'm not going to get all these in, so I'm just going to simplify it and just add what I can. I'm just going to blend this nougat down a little bit and then start adding some little feathers down here like that and I'm just going to draw just around these feathers so that I can 
see where this bit underneath is going to go. And I'm going to add a line there too. And a bit of the brown ochre. Just sort of to the bottom of this cluster of feathers. I'm just going to add a little bit more on that feather. Okay, we're not far off now. I hope you're still here and you haven't given up. Now I'm going to add, let's see, let's start adding these um, lines in here with the nougat. So like we did with this one, I'm just going to draw what I can and if I don't fit everything in, it's not the end of the world. So I'm just going to draw the feathers kind of like with a gap at the bottom for it like a, I don't know how to explain that that kind of shape and just sort of like bring it up from there really I'm going to move the camera down a tiny bit right there we go that's a bit better so I'm going to carry on um, adding these lines in there's another one that sort of like comes around like this quite a steady hand for this <laughs> it's not the easiest like that and then there's like a long one there probably mess that shape up a little bit just gonna draw that there and then I'm gonna add one more line so if it comes down there so if you've got something that looks a bit like that you're alright I've definitely not got all the feathers that are on the picture but I don't ever claim to be fully ana anatomically correct <laughs> so I'm just going to bring the brown ochre down this wing to about there and then again purple at the bottom. So violet at the bottom. Gonna blend it all the way down there. And white to blend that in. So don't worry if you mess your lines up too much before. It's sort of like they blend in a bit now, but you can still just about see them to go over them again. So, you can redo them if they weren't quite right. Or just go over the same ones that you did before. I might just blend a bit of that white through these whiskers. Uh, whiskers? <laughs> Feathers. I'm actually going insane. Just to blend them in a tiny bit more. And I'm going to carry on with this. There we go. And I'm going to go over, like I said, go over any of those lines now's your chance to sort of like correct them a little bit oh, I'm using nougat I don't think I actually mentioned that did I
go. So it's not perfect, but it's enough. And now I'm going to use the burnt umber just to darken up these lines a bit. Make them a bit clearer. They're a bit more defined now. This could definitely do with a bit more work. I'm going to use a bit of the burnt umber here too. And I'm going to start blending it. Like we did with these, I'm going to start blending it underneath the feathers so it looks like a bit of a shadow. a bit of nougat down. I want to make a bit of a shadow underneath this little section of feathers here. So I'm going to blend some nougat down just to try and make it look like it's sitting on top of those feathers a bit more. And I'm going to start adding some of those like shadows underneath these feathers. So say there's like a line there, I'm going to add a bit to the right hand side of it. Just as much as you can get in because obviously it's quite a small little space to draw in. But overall you just want it to look like there's a bit of a shadow in there and they're not just like flat shapes. probably been like the worst explanation I've ever done. <laughs> I just don't even, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it to myself, never mind anyone that's not drawn a wink before. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to add some dark sepia now, just to define some of these feathers. I'm not adding it to the whole lot, just here and there. doing random ones and then there's definitely a darker line on this second one from the end oops that's a bit thick oh well and then there's definitely a darker line here too I'm just gonna blend out a bit sepia there in that middle one and definitely a lot more on this sec second line from the bottom here and I definitely darken that bit up too I'm making it a bit darker than the picture probably is just so it makes a bit more sense like on the drawing. Gonna blend a bit of that dark sepia down a bit there. Right, have I missed anywhere that could be a bit darker than maybe this one? And I'm definitely, I think, I'm gonna define this edge a little bit more and bring a few more bits of dark sepia through this bit of the body right I might just move you up again a tiny bit there we go so I'm going to add a tiny bit of dark sepia through 
this little bit here. Just adds a bit more detail, makes it look a bit nicer. Starting to really come together now, and I was worried, and now I'm not so not so worried. <laughs> just enough that it sort of suggests a bit of detail, but you're not like getting every single little bit in. Add a bit up here too. Just following the lines, adding a little bit more texture in there. Probably did that a bit too dark at the top. I had a bit of burnt umber just to like blend that in. Um, I'll try nougat actually. Nougat. Just to blend up a little bit. Press in reasonably hard. There we go. I'm just going to blend a bit up here. And I'm going to blend a tiny bit through this lighter part there. I'm just going to blend a bit more down this wing so I just want it to look a bit more blended together so doing these little diagonal lines just like that and then here there's definitely like a bit of a bluey colour in there so I might try a bit of cold grey five. Let's try it. And I'm just gonna add it sort of like to the end of these feathers. It's just gonna blend it up a little bit. Just adds a bit more of a darker so cold tone. I think that looks good. I think that is just what it needed. I might add a little bit of that through the end of some of these feathers. Just blend it through slightly. Really lightly, just glazing over it a bit. And maybe even down some of these little bits, just random. Just add a bit more of a multi-dimensional sort of look to it. And a little bit, I'm going to blend a little bit diagonally like we did with the nougat. And a bit more over these feathers, these big ones at the top. And a bit through these ends a bit more. Just sort of like colouring it over the whole thing really. So it looks a bit more blended together. I 
and I'm gonna add a bit of dark sepia just back into some other places where it's lost it a little bit from blending over it. And I'm going to add some around this little edge where the wing ends, just for a bit more of a clear end to differentiate those two areas. A little bit just coming down here. Right, I'm going to add a tiny bit more through these feathers. There we go. They're a bit more defined now. And I just want to add a bit more definition. using burnt umber sorry just bringing it up a tiny bit more over some of these lines there we go and I'm just going to finish off this little bit here with the dark sepia I'm going to add some lines a bit more definition and going to shade underneath them a tiny bit so it adds a bit of a sorry hiccup <laughs> so it adds a bit of a shadow and just like that just darkens them up ever so slightly might just add the tiniest bit of violet just through some of these feathers. I just feel like it's lost a bit of that purple tone. Just sort of concentrating it to like this part here. feathers and I just want to finish this one off too so I'm gonna add a bit more um, violet over that whole feather blend it out with some white and then I'm going to use the cold grey five Just blend that over a tiny bit. Just concentrating it to sort of like this left side of the feather. And then I'm going to use the nougat, just a bit more brown on the right side. Blend it into the middle. There we go. Right, I think for this part I'm just going to leave it at that because my head is an absolute scrambled mess from drawing these feathers. And I don't think the finish just yet, I think a bit more could be done. Like I might even end up blending a bit more white through some of these feathers. Um, but I'm going to leave it at that for now because it's a lot. So <laughs> I will see you in part four where we'll probably go over and just perfect any of these little feathers and we'll carry on with the next bit. So... I don't know if I'm right saying this, but I hope you've enjoyed this part. Certainly a very hard, confusing part. And I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like it if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.